Stamp Up Miles introduces digital paper crafting with the new Stampin' Up My Digital Studio software. I want to give you an overview of the software today and the best way I know to do that is to create a new project. So I'm going up to File, New Project, and up, up pops different options you have. Uh, photo albums, greeting cards, calendars, and multiple output options. You can make an interactive uh, scrapbook. You can make a movie, burn them to DVDs. Very, very cool. I'm going to do a greeting card for you today. And you see there are five different sizes in here. So I'm going to do a five and a half by four and a quarter landscape. And then within all the projects, there are still more options. There are designer options. Stampin' Up! has designed cards for you, and they're all sitting there. And you just pick the one you want. Photo only. You know, I clicked on that. There, there wasn't anything to pull from. But if you want a photo on your front of your card, you sure can do that and create your own. You can create your own from the 2000 images that are already here and we will we can put a photo there but today I'm going to do a designer card and look at all these different options that are available I click on them I have a little preview of it and the cool thing is even though you're seeing all these different options uh, this is a five and a half by four and a quarter you're not going to find this identical card just sitting in the six by six so it'll be different templates I think that's very cool so I like this one so I'm going to click next and then next again, and this is going to load up. Oh, before it loads up, I have to pick an option, pick and click. I can pick what photo I want to put in. I'm not going to in this card, but you know, I could. Or I can select photos and they'll just put them in there for me. But we have to pick something, so we'll stick with that. Click on next. You need to name your project and tell it where you want to put it. I have it all set up and it keeps remembering I want it in my Digital Studio project. And so I click finish and it's going to come up. While we're waiting for that to come up, let me talk to you about the, the printing of these. You can use Stampin' Up's professional printing services. They do a beautiful job. I had my digital scrapbook done with them and it is just phenomenally good. Or you can put these on your home printer. And so here's that card. All right, I want to talk to you about this um, shaded area around the outside here. This is called the card bleed area. And there's the box telling you all about it. And what this is, when you go to print things in this shaded area, it's possible it could get cropped off. So in your scrapbooks or your, or your cards, whatever is important to you, don't let it float into this area. Don't let it get in there. Um, I didn't let any of my pictures get into the, the bleed area and certainly not my journaling. And uh, if you don't care for the bleed area, we can go into view guides and just turn that off uncheck the box and it's gone you know I like keeping it there for a reminder so nothing important does float into there so I'm going to put it back on and you can take it on and off as you choose there we go now it's back and I can close this box out okay very cute card I have a girlfriend of mine who I think would really like this but I just want to say hello I don't want to say party <laughs> and so I click on that and when these squares pop up, you know you're working on the right element. And, uh, and when I clicked on that, the stamp came up under my design center. So I know it was a stamp. I'm going to right click my mouse and delete the object. And like magic, it's going to go boop bye. All right. But I do want to put a greeting back in there. So I'm going to add a stamp. And tons of stamp sets in here. This is from Sunny Day. Hello, friend. Perfect. I'm going to apply this. And what's cool about this feature is it didn't shut my window. I can now go and pick more items if I want. And I don't have to go in and out, in and out. I don't want, so I'm going to close it. And here's my hello friend. I'm going to scoot that back up. I like the placement they had. Oh, very nice. Uh, black is not one of my colors in here. So I'm going to come back over here to my design center. And I'm going to change the color of my stamp image. So in this uh, screen is going to pop up with all the 48 colors, in colors, neutrals, even some old um, in colors. And if I let my cursor stay there, I knew that was chocolate chip, but it'll let me know. Click on that. I can compare the new color selected to the old color and then say OK. Voila, there it is. It's now chocolate. OK, so now here is an image. Oh. See, it's all lit up. Now, I know that is from a designer kit, and they're found in the embellishments. 
I want to change it. I have options, so I am going to right click, delete, and watch the frog go bye bye. Come over here, click on add embellishment, and there are more animals in the designer kit. Here are the designer kit, and this is in Hoppy Memories. See animals, click on that. Now here are all my options. I thought that frog was just really cute. I'm going to apply the frog. It tells me it's applying it to the page. And I'm done, so let's close that. Isn't he cute? Scoot him to where I want him. I had him going off the circle a little bit. There we go. Now my circle, I think, is just a little bit plain. I love layers. So I clicked on the circle, and you see all the squares around it. So that's the element I'm working on. And I'm going to come over here. It was a punch. It tells me, because that's what opened up, it was a punch. And I can mat my punches. And so I can make the mat up to 20. By a 20, I'm going to do a 6. And I'm going to change the color. I don't want it to be basic black. Everything comes up in basic black. I think some chocolate chip would look really nice. There's some more chocolate chip. Click OK. And say OK. Like magic. Isn't that great? And my hello friend. I'm going to click on that. Just to get off that dot over here a little bit. Just playing around. Sorry, can't help myself. All right, so my card's almost done, but you know, I love embellishments, and my girlfriend does too. So I'm going to come over back here to the Design Center, click on Embellishments, and I think a bow would be so pretty on here. So under the Real Green Ribbon, we have bows. I love bows. My stampers, I don't like tying them, but with my Digital Studio, they don't have to tie the bow. They have the perfect bow every time. So let's apply that. No more fussing about bows. I love that. All right, close our screen. Oh, pretty bow. A little bit big, so I'm going to shrink it. All right, and I'm going to put a bow right about here. That is really, I'm liking that. You know what? I would really like a button. So I'm going back to the add embellishment and the round button. And we have pumpkin pie, round button. Click on that. Let's apply it. It's telling me it's putting on the page. We'll close out our screen. I still think that's a little bit big, so I'll shrink it down. Isn't that cool? You know, the accessories are actual size, but I just made it smaller. Oh, that's good, because I don't like naked buttons. But I certainly don't want the button sitting on top of the bow. So again, I'm going to right click. I'm going to send the button backwards. It needs to go back a layer. Watch this. Isn't that cool? No naked buttons. And here's my project. This will be a card you will really enjoy getting. It's a lot of fun. Hey, you know what? I have a new website I started dedicated to my Digital Studio projects. And it is digitalstudiosite.com. Go check it out. Thanks for watching.